we're walking towards my Tacoma because I just want to share a uh, experience that I have that might help somebody else. I recently got a new Chamberlain uh, garage door opener. It's Wi-Fi connected. It has the MyQ app, which allows you to do cool things like um, control the garage door from your phone. You can always tell the status of the garage door if it's open or closed. Um, it integrates with Ring. So yeah, my garage door opener was something like 21 years old, so I thought it was finally time to update it. So set it up and uh, had to, of course, reprogram my vehicles to work with it. Now my 2022 Model Y, it was a piece of cake. You know, I have, I have the Homelink kit in my Model Y. Uh, I just, um, just went through the learning process. It, it took in like 10 seconds, no problem. My Tacoma, it should be nearly as easy but it was not. Uh, typically what you want to do when you're changing your remote, or at least what I did, I only had one button programmed for my garage door opener. So what I did is I cleared all of the saved codes. And the way you clear the codes is you hold, at least if you have a mirror, Homelink mirror like I do, you hold these two uh, outside buttons. There's a total of three, you hold the, the one and the three, and you hold it for like 20 seconds. And uh, eventually it, it takes a while, but you'll see this flashing fast. That means that all of your codes are cleared, which is what you want. And then the way it's supposed to work is you hold down the button that you want programmed. It will start to flash. And while you're holding it down, you press and release repeatedly the garage door opener and it learns that code. Once it learns that code, um, at least in my experience, my, even my old garage door opener had this. It has a learn button on it. You go in and you press the learn button on the uh, garage door opener uh, head unit, and then you hit the button on your car. And now the garage door opener knows that your car is authorized to open that opener. Um, I have my new LiftMaster opener here, and I went through the process. And I went through the process probably a dozen times, maybe more, I don't know. I thought I was doing something wrong. I'm looking on the internet. I'm like, what the hell? Why, why can't I get this to program? I would just hold this down forever. I'd hit the button until my thumb bleeds and it would, uh, it would not program. Because what happens is when you hold this down, it flashes slowly. And when it learns the code, it will flash quickly. Once it flashes quickly, that means that, okay, I got the code. So then you know that your vehicle is set, but it would not work. So after um, multiple searches, I finally came up with a answer and I will share that with you now. Here is my new uh, LiftMaster garage door opener. Has two super bright LEDs, which I like. It lights up the whole garage. I don't really have to hardly ever use this auxiliary light that I have here. These do a good job. Now I did pay an extra $150 for this. It's a MyQ camera. Basically, it uh, turns on whenever it senses movement. It has a magnet here. This is just actually stuck on here by a magnet, so it's very easy to mount. Um, you just plug it in. I had a plug available up there. I used the plug splitter to, to get electricity to it. Uh, connect it to your network and then you just pair it to your garage door opener and then they work in tandem. So I got that. Just so you have full knowledge of, of if, if your garage door opens, you have video evidence of uh, who is in your garage. So I thought that was a cool feature. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, and right here is the learn button by the way, on my, on my garage door opener right there. That yellow button is the learn button. So anyways, I'm looking and I'm like, what, what am I doing wrong? I'm resetting, I'm trying to program. On and on and on, it's driving me crazy. Finally, I think it was Eric the car guy, who I, I used to watch his YouTube videos, God, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, I don't know, a long time ago. I haven't really uh, followed his channel that much because I don't do that many uh, auto repairs anymore. But um, yeah, Eric the car guy actually had a video talking about this exact thing. Uh, got a brand new garage door opener and he went to program his home link and much like me, whatever he tried to do did not work. So what you have to do to get your home link to work is buy an auxiliary kit. Um, I will have a link to it. I thought uh, the box is inside. I will have a link to it uh, in the description below. I bought it on Amazon. If, I, if you go on the Chamberlain site who makes LiftMaster, they actually didn't have any available, but they were available on Amazon. I think it cost uh, with shipping right around 40 bucks. So you're spending more money. I spent money for a camera. Now I spent money for this device. And the device is, th is this. I have it hiding out down here. It's basically a repeater, or, or I don't know what the proper word for it. It's a transmitter designed to work with Homelink. Evidently, some Homelink systems in, in vehicles will not communicate cleanly with these LiftMaster garage door openers. So there's two parts to it. You have that transmitter, 
And then they also give you this, which this looks like, I don't, like an old garage door opener, doesn't it? But actually this won't open your garage door. All this does is allow you to program your home link. So you go through that process that I showed you where you clear the codes and you hold the button that you want to program and then you start pressing the button on this. And as soon as you do that, it took me maybe five, 10 seconds. My light flashed quickly, meaning that the mirror learned the code. And then all I had to do was press the learn button on that, press the button on the mirror, the light on your garage door opener will blink, meaning, hey, I got the code and voila, it works. I just want to share that. You're not losing your mind if you can't get your home link to work with your uh, LiftMaster garage door opener. You know, I, I, my car or my truck is a 2016. So I certainly thought it would be compatible out of the box, uh, but it is not. You do need that other uh, component to make it work. So that's it. Just in case someone else is scratching their head like I was, that is the way to get around it. So if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. This is your first time visiting the channel. Please consider subscribing. Um, if you're going to subscribe, you can always hit the notify bell. It's over there somewhere. There's a large variety of content on my channel. Uh, last time I checked, over 1,600 videos Whoa. on my channel. I shit you not. Scroll through them and you'll see. Um, I do have membership on my channel. If you want to be a member, you can hit the join button. You'll see information about it there. I already have uh, several members. Here they are. They're awesome. And uh, that's all I have for you for now, guys. You are uh, trying to get your LiftMaster garage door opener to work. It doesn't work you might want to look into this solution. Hope you guys have a great week. And until next time, definitely know. This, um, I forgot I wanted to mention the MyQ app. This is what it looks like, right? You know, right now I can tell my garage door is closed. If you ever leave your house and you're like, oh shit, did I leave my garage door open? Uh, you no longer have to worry about that with this app. You will always be able to tell. As you can see, it also uh, clicked into my live feed as well. So I can see what's going on in the garage. And right now it's not very much. Uh, this also supports Amazon Key, uh, delivery, like if you if package theft is a problem in your area, uh, this supports Am Amazon Key, which allows uh, a delivery person uh, temporary access to your smart lock or your garage door so they can put packages inside. So, yeah, lots of good features. I like it. Oh, and one other thing, you can set it. You can have scheduled events with MyQ. So I have a scheduled event at 11 o'clock to close the garage door. If it's already closed, it won't do anything. But if you forgot and you left it open, it will automatically close it at 11 p.m. So yeah. Technology, pretty cool. Hi, baby.